at five, about five million Americans have their wisdom teeth removed every year. Doctors are now warning patients and parents of younger patients about possible painkiller addiction. As Susan Copen found out, there are alternatives to opioids when you get your wisdom teeth pulled. She's here now with that information, Susan. Yeah, and here's an eye opener for you. Most teenagers get their first taste of opioids after a trip to the dentist. Now, experts are saying we need to put the brakes on those painkillers, and other options are proving to be more effective in curbing pain. Charlotte Stevenson says her daughter's first taste of opioids came at 17 when she got her wisdom teeth out. When I look back on that, I may as well have been her drug dealer because I was serving her those Percocet pills every so many hours for days. Eventually, she became addicted to opioids. Charlotte says her daughter has been in and out of rehab six times and is now two years sober. But she wishes she had asked more questions about the pain protocol and whether it was necessary back when her daughter was just a teen. I would have questioned, why are we using these medications? What are the other alternatives that could be done? I would have handled it differently as a mom. I just, I feel remorse. Researcher Dr. Paul Moore with the University of Pittsburgh School of Dental Medicine says studies have shown that alternatives to opioids are often a better option for wisdom teeth removal. In fact, faculty at the dental school are now advocating for the use of non opioid medicines. A combination of ibuprofen, that's Advil, with acetaminophen, that's Tylenol works every bit as well as a Vicodin, as a Percocet, as those opioids, uh, and doesn't have all the side effects. The American Dental Association has released updated guidelines recommending the use of alternative pain relievers and a maximum seven-day supply when opioids are necessary. And United Healthcare is telling its providers to dial back opioids even more. Looking at its own data, United Healthcare found 12% of all opioid prescriptions were being written by dentists. That number jumped to 45% when they looked at just teenage patients. What we recommend is go low and go slow. No more than a three day supply. Charlotte Stevenson says parents need to know all of the options before giving their kids pain pills. My message to parents is be scrutinizing. These opioids are very dangerous. And when someone walks into an office, that doctor has no idea if they're susceptible to addiction problems. And Charlotte is now raising her grandson while her daughter works on her sobriety. She says, and you heard it in the piece, that she has this remorse about giving the pain pills, but she says, I, di I did what the dentist told me to do. Oh, it's so scary as a parent. And then you think, you know, you get the prescription and you can have this bottle full of weeks worth of drugs sitting right there in your cabinet, even if you don't use them. Right, and that's the other problem. Okay, so maybe they don't use the pills for the wisdom teeth, but the pills are sitting there. Okay, so how do you get rid of them? And then what's stopping somebody else from the house from going and trying some of these pills? or that teenager who had the wisdom teeth and got the pills, trying them at a later date. Yeah. You get them out of the house, right? I think if you call your local police department, they can direct you to a right. safe drop-off. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Susan.